All right, guys. So we have checked out a lot of different Soundpeats products on the channel, and they've quickly become one of the best budget audio companies out there. But to this point, we've pretty much just checked out earbuds uh, and their open ear style earbuds and things like that. But today we're gonna check out the Soundpeats Space, and this is their brand new wireless noise canceling high res audio pair of headphones. Now it says on Amazon that these are on ear, but these are definitely over the ear headphones. And Soundpeats is actually coming in pretty aggressive with the pricing to keep this at a very low price point. Now, even at retail, these come in at $79, but right now uh, on Amazon, I guess it's because they just came out. Uh, you can check off the box to save 20%. They've even sent a code to give you guys an additional 10%. So that brings these all the way down to $55. And $55, again, active noise canceling, high res audio certified. And at $55, I, you can save you the trouble and just say this is one of the best bargain or deals when it comes to any kind of audio product out there, which we'll get into all of the features, we'll talk about the sound, talk about what comes inside the box, and basically see why I think they're just kind of giving these away. Now to start with, these do have hybrid active noise canceling, uh, they do have Bluetooth 5.3 and they support multi-point connection so you can connect to more than one device at a time. They are high res certified, but the high res certification comes in when you use them wired. So these are not high res wireless. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind. The, the, as far as the Bluetooth codecs, it's just standard AAC, SBC. Uh, there's no high end Bluetooth codecs here. Uh, it is using 40 millimeter drivers and the battery life on these are insane. On a full charge, listening at about 60% volume, you can expect to get up to 123 hours. If those specs alone don't grab your attention for something you can pick up now for just like just over $55, I don't know what else will. Now, as far as the design and the build, uh, they are lightweight. They do feel plasticky because they are plasticky. It does have metal extenders going through the headband. Uh, on top of the headband, it has like a fabric material where on the bottom, the part that actually touches your head is a pleather. Uh, the ear pads are memory foam and they do have that pleather uh, feel to them as well. And this is just a really comfortable pair of headphones to wear. One, because it is so light and two, because the pleather ear pads, the memory foam, it just, it all just kind of melts to your head. So that is a huge plus. Now these do fold inwards, they do swivel, so you do have the ability to kind of condense them down if you're gonna throw them in a bag. And sadly, they don't come with a bag. They don't come with like a little carrying pouch. They don't come with a carrying case. I would have liked to have seen that. I do kind of understand they have to cut costs in different places to actually keep the cost of the headphone down, but uh, this pair is meant to be used on the go and it's meant to take with you uh, and travel because it has that noise canceling. Uh, so again, just one of those simple little pouches would have been nice to have in the box. Now what it does come with is a USB-C cable for charging. And like I said earlier, the battery life gets you up to 123 hours on a full charge. Uh, this is with the noise canceling off and listening at about 60% volume. If you decide to use these with the noise canceling on, you can still squeeze out 61 hours on a full charge, which is which is crazy with noise canceling. Uh, and if you do happen to pick these up, they also have a fast charge feature where a 10 minute charge is going to get you 12 hours of use. Again, that is absolutely insane on a pair of headphones. Now going back to looking at the headphones themselves, as far as the inputs and the controls, now everything's pretty much on your right hand side. This is where your three and a half millimeter headphone jack input is if you want to use these wired. It's also where your power button, which is also a multi-function button, and then your plus and minus, which is your volume control and also your track control. And I am happy to say that out of the box, they give you control over everything. Uh, and in fact, the multifunction button, if you press it three times, it will even switch it into a gaming mode so that you can use these for movies, videos, and gaming, and not really have to worry about lag. So on top of Bluetooth 5.3, having a gaming mode uh, pretty much means these are excellent for all types of media. 
Now on the left hand side, this is where you have your noise canceling button. Uh, there's three different modes on here, which is basically just listening to them without noise canceling. Uh, you can listen to them with noise canceling and you can listen to them in transparency mode. So if you need to hear your surroundings, uh, this is the mode that you would switch it into that. And the noise canceling, is actually pretty good, especially for its price point. Now, I'm not gonna say that these compete with Sony or Bose, it just definitely doesn't when it comes to that, but when it comes to lower tones, so if you're traveling and the engine noise of a plane or the engine noise of a car or an AC unit, anything that has like that lower tone, these do an excellent job of blocking that out. It's just when it comes to higher frequencies, like if a TV's on or somebody starts talking in the room, uh, it isn't gonna block that out as much as those lower tones. So, you know, noise canceling is good, it's just not great. But the transparency mode on here, I felt did a really good job. I had no issues being able to hear my surroundings. Uh, I could easily carry on a conversation with somebody and not have to take the headphones off, which was nice. But I'm going to get into this a little bit later. There is a difference in the sound quality with listening to the noise canceling on and then listening to them with the noise canceling off. But again, we'll get into that a little bit later. Now these do work with SoundPete's app, which I highly recommend. Not because the app's great, it's, it's not really that great, but this allows you to keep the headphones updated. Uh, there are some EQ options in there if you do wanna switch around some things. I personally feel like the EQ setting that's on them out of the box is already going to be the best uh, that you're gonna get. But if you wanna kinda dull it down some and have something that's a little bit flatter sounding, you will need to go in and mess around with the EQ options. Uh, but also in the app, you can switch on the game mode in here, uh, and you can also switch between the noise canceling or the noise canceling off or transparency mode all in the app, but again, that you can do on the headphones, same thing with the gaming mode. Now, if you are gonna use this pair for taking phone calls, it does have four microphones on it total, and I, I think it's doing an okay job here. I don't think this is you know, some of the best mics that I've heard, uh, but it does a good job of picking up my voice, and it actually does a pretty decent job of blocking out my surroundings. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here is the mic test using the SoundPete Space. This is just to kind of give you an idea of what it would sound like. Uh, I think it does a pretty decent job of picking up my voice. I do notice that there's definitely like an artificial sound to it, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is the mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. Now these are using pretty powerful 40 millimeter drivers. Now out of the box, uh, it actually has these with the noise canceling off. And out of the box, this is a boomy pair of headphones. It actually has like a slight warmth to the sound because the bass is so aggressive. Uh, but the mids and the trebles still stood out. Everything sounded nice and bright and detailed. Uh, the treble's not too harsh. The mids definitely have like a bump up here so that you can hear vocalists cleanly. But my favorite way to listen to these was with the noise canceling on. And that's normally not the case with noise canceling headphones because noise canceling headphones, when you turn noise canceling on, it usually makes them more boomy. It usually closes you in a little bit more and it adds more warmth. Where with the SoundPete Space, it kind of does the opposite. It makes them sound brighter. It makes them sound more detailed. It makes the bass tighten up and be punchy still, but not as loose and not as bloated, if that makes any sense. So the more refined sound is actually with the noise canceling on. Uh, so I pretty much just listen to them with the noise canceling on all the time, which means I do sacrifice like half the battery life, but still 61 or 60 hours while using noise canceling, I don't really think many people are going to complain. And with using the noise canceling, it doesn't have that like suction type feel that most noise canceling headphones have. So it's not one that's gonna give you a headache. It's not one that you're gonna get tired of using after, you know, 20, 30 minutes because it's too aggressive with that suction feel. So that is also a huge plus. Now, when it comes to the sound stage and the sound imaging, this area, these are just okay. Again, I was surprised that with the noise canceling on, it had a wider sound, but between any mode that you use, you're never gonna have any issue with being able to tell 
where different sounds are coming from. So my overall opinion on these, this is pretty much the headphone to beat when it comes to value. You're not gonna get battery life like this. You're not gonna get noise canceling at around $50 like this. And you sure as hell are not gonna get sound quality on a wireless noise canceling pair of headphones in this price range. And it's a nice added bonus that you get that high res certification if you use them wired, which I actually preferred using, especially if I'm just gonna sit here at my desktop where I can just plug them into an amp uh, and it kind of just adds more value to what is already a great budget pair of headphones. But you do give up uh, some things like you're not getting a case, you're not getting a pouch, you're not getting anything to carry it with, which maybe you already have something like this. Uh, there is no smart sensors on here, so it doesn't pause when you take them off. It doesn't go back to what you're listening to when you put them on. And the app, and this just kind of is my opinion on SoundPete's app, pretty much all the time. The app is just kind of blah. It, it, it's a bland app, it does just enough, uh, and there's not really a whole lot of bells and whistles uh, outside of that. But the sound quality, the battery life, the noise canceling, I could definitely recommend these just off of those things alone. So yeah, these get my highest recommendation. It's gonna be hard to find anything better under $100. And the fact that right now they're around 50, I, I think these are gonna probably sell out pretty quick. But guys, that's my video on the SoundPete Space over-the-ear wireless noise-canceling headphones. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.